This video is about going from uh, basically going from Revit to uh, Navisworks and prior to going to Navisworks uh, I actually uh, did the drawing the whole building in uh, in Revit and here we can see uh, the picture of the uh, the actual um, the, the cellar or the basement level here with the different items. I then uh, clicked on the uh, different elements and I went into my add-in and I gave it a type code uh, uh, with regard to a um, library which I did for the whole building after I had drawn it in Revit. And uh, once I've type coded each of these elements uh, in the whole building then I could send it over to, uh, to project uh, by again going into the add-ins and export or rather send it over to Sigma first. Uh, I export it to Sigma using the export to Sigma um, uh, add-in and uh, and uh, this is uh, the subject of a different video. So once I got it into Sigma I, I had a Sigma calculation here of the whole building as you can see here and uh, we can see the different items in the building and the different uh, uh, this is sorted after levels so I have the basement level, I have the ground floor, the first floor, the second floor, etc. And uh, this I then sent over to, um, to project by exporting to project using this uh, add-in again and exporting the wages uh, part. This works best in the Danish version I must admit and choose uh, uh, the number of levels according to the detail you want to see in your calculation and in your, in your planning. Uh, this export uh, to a project led me to this here, uh, which shows me the planning of the different uh, areas. This is particularly the cellar with the floors and so on. If I want more detail, then I would have chosen several levels in the export. So this is the, the type of level I've got here. And this is the planning uh, which I have uh, basically um, linked according to the way I want it to be linked. So I manually link these together and I could also have put in uh, costs and so on and I believe I have put in the costs here by exporting the Sigma to Excel and copying the costs in here in the appropriate boxes next to the activities. So I also have those. Once that is done then I uh, go in and I um, actually um, uh, import, uh, export this uh, Revit Tiny a drawing uh, using the add-in actually. If you go into add-ins here you have a, a tool here which you can send to uh, Navisworks and uh, this Naviswork uh, file uh, will then be exported and it's, it's exported as a NWC file as you can see here and then I can once I've, uh, I'm done with the export uh, I can actually um, import or rather open the file here as a NWC file as you can see uh, when I am um, actually you can see here the NWC through building. So that's how I got this drawing in here in the first place. Uh, so then I attached uh, these uh, sets to the uh, different types of elements in the building and uh, now the next thing is to import the um, the open the timeliner here and import the data file uh, from my uh, uh, MS project uh, file so I can have it in here. So that's where we're at right now. So I'm just going to go into timeliner down here and I'm going to uh, import a project. I can import several different types of uh, file including uh, uh, CSV files. I just want to move this down here so you can see I can also import uh, CSV files if I wanted to. It's down here. So I've opened the timeliner here. I go into add and I want to in this case import a, a Microsoft project file. So I click on project and I browse through to where it's uh, kept and in this case it's on a, an external drive so I open it and I um, here uh, find the things I want to be in this file like for example task name and I'm going to use ID here and actual uh, actually uh, the start date 
um, which is this one here actually so I go in and look at the start and I'm looking for that one start and end date and I'm looking for F finish so if I pick F down here I get finish and I can also take costs in this case here you can see the labor costs and uh, material costs and so on I haven't distinguished uh, between those in my uh, my um, Sigma uh, or in my MS project file I've just taken all the costs so I'm just gonna in this just for this, the sake of this video just gonna choose uh, the cost uh, file here C for costs so if I go down into uh, into C here and find costs uh, I should be able to find that one there and click OK to that and uh, the next thing to do is to actually uh, go in here and right click on the name or rather into tasks here and sorry uh, I should go into actually here under data sources click on the actual name right click on the name so right click on name and rebuild task hierarchy and in a few minutes and a few moments actually we should have uh, uh, the hierarchy here under tasks and here you can see if I just move this up a little bit that you have all the uh, start dates you have first and foremost the, the actual building uh, which is sorted according to level here and we have the main tasks here I could of course have detailed them much more and I also have the plan start date and the plan finish date and uh, presumably also here somewhere between uh, this and behind this line I should have something called costs and I put in some of the costs as you can see here which I've copied over um, and also I have the uh, the actual bars from the the Gantt which I had in my my project uh, over here so we can see now we have imported the different um, um, the different uh, tasks and now it's a question of linking these sets to these tasks and that, right now that ends uh, this video